Hey there, Steve Gamash with another Chef Knives to Go Quick Look product review. And what we have this time is the Yusaku Aogami or Balu number no. 2 Bunka 180mm knife. So these knives, as indicated, have um, a core hard core cutting edge steel of what's known as Aogami or Blue Paper number no. 2, reactive high carbon steel. Heat treats typically around 61, 62 Rockwell on that core steel. And what they do is put a layer of soft reactive iron cladding on either side of that hardcore cutting edge steel. And it looks like the cladding does cover the top. The uh, cladding is reactive, the core steel is reactive, so it's an all reactive knife. Uh, we've got a what's known as a Kuda Uchi or blacksmith protective finish on there. And then um, kind of a Nishiji kind of finish behind that. So, and then a sandblast, so it looks to me like a sandblasted uh, finish on the blade grind down towards the edge so you can see the cladding line demarcation very easily there in the core cutting edge steel. Weight and dimensions will vary a little bit from knife to knife on these but this particular one is 154 grams or 5.4 ounces. The edge length is right about 182 millimeters or 7.2 inches. The overall length is 321 millimeters or 12.6 inches with these handles. And um, the blade thickness, they are not super thick coming out of the handle, but this one I got about 2.75 millimeters at the back. And then about halfway down, I measured at about 2.1. And it pretty much just keeps that. You get the, the corner here at the reverse sword tip. And then it pretty much holds that until the grind. So the grind is right there where you can see the color demarcation, of course, from the Kuda Uchi down to the edge. And so they get fairly thin towards the tip, not super, super thin, but fairly thin. And then here is the back shot on the choil. So again, they, they thicken up fairly quickly off the edge, not a super high grind. Blade height is 45.4 millimeters, so not super tall, but uh, plenty of clearance for your fingers on a cutting board. The handle is what's known as uh, Blue Urushi. It's an octagonal handle. It's a really interesting finish on there. It's kind of iridescent purple hues and all kinds of stuff going on here. Lavender. So it's a really interesting handle. Uh, circumference is about 75 millimeters, about where I would measure for a ferrule, like two woods meeting or two materials meeting right there. Um, you've got, you don't have a lot of neck exposed here for a pinch grip, so I can't quite get my finger in there. Uh, but your your pinch, as far as balance point goes on these with this handle um, being a little longer, it's a fairly long handle for this size knife. So there's your balance point a little bit uh, in front of the choil. Uh, in terms of like a pinch grip, it's a little bit behind where my pinch would be. So it gives you kind of a little bit of a handle heavy balance bias. Not by a lot, but a little bit. Um, these are stiff. They've got nice clean grinds, uh, well-crafted blades. Nice fit and finish on them. They're well made. Some attention to detail. You've got engraved kanji or chisel kanji right there done after the KU finish was put on so you can see the marks and see the metal showing there. And then kind of a, just a fairly smooth kind of Nishiji style finish with that Kudauchi on it. And then on the left side of the blade you've got an embossed kanji at the back and then again that kind of every knife's going to be a little different on the finish so fairly smooth finish they have taken a little bit off the corners of the spine they've taken a bit off the corners of the choil into the neck so quite comfortable out of the box edge i'll give this one a maybe a five six out of ten but this steel will get really really sharp for you it is pretty much as good as you can do Sharpening wise, you can get this steel as sharp as your skills will allow. So this steel will get wicked sharp and holds a nice edge as well. Here is your cutting board profile. It's kind of a gentle belly throughout, so there's not a real flat area on it. It's just kind of a rock all the way around, you can see. The tip obviously is very low because that's this style of blade. So I'm not going to get real high on a rock you know it'll do great on tip draws for product but eh, right in there is about where my rock stops with trying to dig the tip in although you could tweak that on some sharpening if you wanted to but just a good gentle belly profile again not a lot of flat on it so definitely will work good on push pull cuts glide cuts tip draws things like that maybe low rocking not 
pure chopper like a Nikita or something like that so but just a well executed package that's nicely made and and will perform for years and years in, in the kitchen so this is the Yusaku Autogami our blue number two Bunka 180 millimeter knife